So once you have your basic site set up, and in my case, I'm using Podia, you can go and then start adding more pages to your site. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up a blog. Now, Podia is not an app that has a built-in blogging functionality. So you've got to kind of, you know, do some workarounds. Podia does have some help on their help pages. They give you some options as far as how to create a blog. The way that I think is going to be the uh, most efficient and to get it to look just the way I want it to, to look is going to be using the custom page feature. And by creating a custom page for my blog and blog post, it's just going to, it's going to look like a blog more so than their other suggestions. And it's just going to have a lot more ability to tweak it and to work with the SEO than you would with their other suggestions. So I'm going to do the custom page option. So what we want to do is we want to go into our Podia and we're going to create a new page for our blog. We'll click up here in the top left where it says home page. And then in here, we're going to click on new page. So this is the new page. Now we want to go back to this option up here in the left hand corner where it says new page and click on that. Each time you click on new page, it automatically creates a page called new page. Here, let me show you new page. Now, if we go back up to new page, there should be two of them, new page and new page. Okay. So I'm going to delete one of them. Actually, we'll leave it. That's fine. We're going to go to the first one here, and this is going to be our blog. So I'm going to click on page settings. This is where we're going to go and change the name. So it's not showing new page. We're going to call the name the membership answer man it's blog okay and then the link here the membership answer man's there we go blog so now it's going to create a link for us. So there, there's our main site right there. The home page is right there. And then here, this takes us to the blog page. Site description, I'm not going to worry about. Uh, preview image, this is a preview image that shows up in searches on search results. Like you're doing a Google search for the membership answer man and there'll be an image that shows up. So we could either do something that has like our logo on it if we wanted to. We're just going to go in here and we're going to use the image that I use for my freebie or we could use this one. Let's go ahead and use that one. So that shows up in the search results. Okay. So that's done now. All right. So if we go back and now we have the page right there. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to edit this page. We're going to click on the plus icon to add a new section right over here. It's asking us what kind of a section do we want to make? So I want a grid. Okay. So for my blog, I'm going to create little tiles and then a short kind of intro to the blog and then a read more button. So we're going to use a grid. I'm going to click on that. And here we've got a grid with three items and here it's all kind of right justify or left justified. And I think I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to take off all this top section. I could actually put on here in this top section, the membership answer man blog, but I'm not going to worry about that. I think I'm going to take that out. And so here we're just going to take out the grid. And then this is all of the verbiage for the grid. We're going to take that out. And then here's our item. So this, this item is going to be blog post one, blog post two. Here, let's go ahead and write that in there. We go down here to the uh, left-hand column. We're going to click on item, title, blog post one. Go back, go scroll down to item here. This will be blog post two. We'll go back. Go to the third item, blog post three. Okay. And we can go back. All right. So there's our blog post. Now I do have a blog post that I already created and we're going to, I'm going to show you kind of how to set up that page with the read more button and everything. So let's go ahead and we're going to go back to this blog post one option. Click on it. And actually this title is going to be what? is a 
member ship site. Next, what we want to do is change the intro here. So my very first couple of lines of that blog title. Have you ever wondered what exactly a membership site is? Let's dive in and figure it out. Now I want to create a tile for this so that there's a kind of an image here. And I went to Pixabay and that's where I typically like to go for my, my free images that are free to use commercially. And I grabbed an image that I really liked. We're going to go to my downloads folder. And we're going to use the confused men. All right, so there's the title for that. So let's play around with this. Do I like it all left justified or not? Let's go back, design, and centered or left. Let's leave it at left for now. We can always change it to centered if we wanted to. All right, so we have, have you ever wondered what exactly a membership site is? Let's dive in and figure it out. Now we wanna have is a read more option here. So we're gonna go back to content. We're gonna go back to our item and click on that and then button label. All right, we're gonna do read more. And then this is going to go to the actual blog post, which we don't have yet. So we're gonna create a new page now for this particular blog post, okay? So we're gonna click on, uh, well, actually, before we click on publish, the other thing is I, I've got a white header here and then the main section of the blog post is also white. So I wanna change that. We're gonna go back, we're gonna to go to design, and then here we're gonna to go to our colors. I obviously don't want a red background. I'm going to use one of my colors from my color palette and I've got a light green copy. We'll click on that. And then I'm gonna paste in my hex code for my light green. We're gonna go back and we're good with that. And we're gonna click on publish. So while I'm here, let's go ahead and put the blog option up in the navigation menu. So we're gonna click on the pencil up here for the navigation menu. We're gonna click on new link. Label is gonna be blog. That's how it shows up there. And then the actual page though, is going to be the page that we created where it said the membership answer man blog. So let's go back. Go back to the pages here, edit this. I need to get the address. So while we're here, I can go right back into this blog option there and I can edit this right there. So click on that, put that in there, publish. Let's go back to the main site. We're gonna do a refresh. Okay, so we're on our home page. We click on blog and there's the blog, okay? So now what I wanna do, we'll go back. We want this read more option here for the blog post, which we just started creating this button and that's gonna to go to that new page that we don't have set up yet. So we're gonna go up here and here's the new page that I already created earlier. So we're gonna click on page settings and title. blog post. What is a membership site? Link. I'm going to actually put that. Blog post. What is a membership site? It's creating the new page. And then here for a choose for something that pops up in the search results as far as an image. Let's go back up to our main images. That's in my folder for my website assets. Go to website images. And we're gonna use that image there. Again, this can all be changed later. Okay, so the new page is now set up. 
going to go back. Okay. We're going to add a new section. We're going to, it's going to be a text section. So we're going to click on the add button. It's going to be text. And again, I don't want white with white. So we're going to use that, uh, go to design option here. Click on the custom theme. And again, we want my hex code for the light green. We'll click on that red background. We're going to enter in our hex code for the light green and then we'll go back. So now we'll go to content and we will enter in the actual blog post. So the title here, go to text and that's going to be what is a membership site. Okay, no subtitle needed. And then here is where we will put all of our text. Now I've got that all figured out already in a Word document. We're going to do a paste. Okay. And here it automatically popped in the image that I'm working with. So if you wanted to create an image, remove that. What you would do is put the cursor where you want the image. Then you go up here to this attach files. Then you would attach the file and you would go and grab the image. So I have a question mark that I want to put in there. And there it is. Okay. So have you ever wondered what exactly membership site is? That's the very first portion of the blog post that we had on the blog heading. And then we had the read more option. Okay. So let's do publish. What I want to do is go back to that main blog page. So this here, this is the actual blog post. We're going to go back to this page settings and we need to get this address, copy it. And we need to go back to the actual blog. Let's click on the blog. And we need to go to that read more button. We're going to click on the option here on the pencil to edit. Open up the edit panel. We're going to go down to this read more button. So right here, click on that, read more. We're going to put the address to that blog post. Do publish. Okay, now watch. We're going to refresh. All right, so we've got the home page. We go to the blog. There's our tile for the very first blog post. This is going to take us to the read more and to the blog post. And there it is. Okay. So here I'm going to also have a call to action for my free resource list. So we're going to go back over here. And now we want to go to that actual page. So let's go back here to pages. We need to go to the blog post here. We're going to scroll down. We're going to edit. That opens the edit panel. We'll scroll down and we're going to put a button. Grab your for free resource. Now we need to also put the address for my resource guide in there. This is the address for the free resource guide. And we're now done. We're going to go ahead and click on publish. So that's it. We did our first blog post. So having this blog page, if we go back and do a refresh, and now we go to the blog page, this will allow me to share podcasts that I might be doing in the future. It'll allow me to share a quick blurb on maybe a new YouTube video I just created. And it's just, again, another way of getting my content out there and viewable by the world. So that's how we create a blog in Podia using the custom pages option.